part of what I do here, and I would say that the, the majority of the people who do this job, the weird, weird job that we do in independent media on YouTube and other platforms, is to make educated guesses based on our experience and understanding of politics and politicians and history and the news cycle and, and what is likely to come to pass. And I think I do a pretty good job of it. So good, in fact, that I often do the, the toot my own horn thing. It's become kind of a, a, j a joke on the show. And this is this new development based on something that I talked about back in the October 16th that tells you just how frenetic our news cycles are uh, is another instance where I think I got it right and I think I'm getting it right. How about that? Mark Robinson, the man running for governor in North Carolina, the man who just announced then on that day, I think it was October 16th, yeah, um, that he is suing CNN for $50 million based on their reporting. And uh, I, I talked about what the allegations were against him with all of his alleged <laughs> participation in porn site forums where they chat in the, the comment section. I mean, it's, it's bananas enough that there's comment sections on YouTube. Can you imagine comment sections on porn videos? I just, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. But nevertheless, he is suing for defamation of character, uh, CNN for $50 million, or at least he was. Now, I'm going to play 30 seconds, roughly 30 seconds of a clip from October 16th, where my prediction was this lawsuit's going away. This thing's going to disappear as soon as the election is over. And there's been a development. But first, here is that prediction as a, an effort to toot my own horn. And apparently, Mark Robinson is going to sue CNN for defamation or whatever. My prediction would be that case isn't going to continue after the election, after he loses his ass in this election. And there's some ass there to lose. Fat guy. Former fat guy. Maybe still fat guy by some people's estimation. So, you know, I'm just criticizing my people. <laughs> So it's half a prediction or it's half correct because the lawsuit isn't gone yet, but the lawsuit is on its way to going away. So <laughs> I don't know whether I should play a, a refresher just to give you an, a, an understanding. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll find a video that gives you just a brief overview of what's going on. We'll put the time up in the corner of the video so you can scroll through if you already know, if you've already seen the clip, and then we'll get to what exactly this development is. Battling back over a CNN bombshell, Mark Robinson is suing the network after a report tied him to explicit racial and sexual posts on a pornography site and he called it, quote, a new low in digital lynching. Channel 9's Hunter Signs is live in the studio. Hunter, I know you read through this lawsuit and it includes a lot, but also there's a lot that's been left out. I have it right here with me, Erica. It is 16 pages, but as you mentioned, there are some notable things that are missing. Tonight, Mark Robinson is seeking $50 million as he sues CNN. But what we did not hear at his press conference today, nor did we see in this lawsuit, was any proof showing CNN's findings were wrong. There were no exhibits given nor detailed explanation proving that the posts were not made by him. North Carolina's Republican candidate for governor stepped in front of the cameras Tuesday, trying to put a controversial scandal behind him. This is a high tech legend on a candidate who has been targeted from day one by folks who disagree with me politically and want to see me destroyed. Robinson and his attorney, Jesse Benal, filing a lawsuit against CNN. Last month, the network reported Robinson allegedly posted multiple controversial remarks on a pornographic website more than a decade ago. CNN says they included Robinson calling himself a, quote, black Nazi and how he wanted to reinstate slavery, saying, quote, slavery is not bad and that he'd, quote, buy a few, among other comments. For weeks, Robinson has denied it and hired a law firm to investigate and prove it was not him. 
His attorney says the lawsuit is the first step and called the defamation case a case of election interference. A left-wing media outlet is going to do everything they can to stop this man from being governor because they know that this man has an ability to connect with voters in a way that quite frankly scares them. The 16-page lawsuit alleges CNN intentionally defamed Robinson, but does not include detailed evidence proving CNN's report was inaccurate. The lawsuit claims CNN knew or recklessly disregarded that Lieutenant Governor Robinson's email, passwords, and personal data had been stolen and that the network avoided the truth, fully intending to derail Robinson's political career. Today, his opponent spoke about the CNN report at a meet and greet in Hickory, and we asked about it after. Well, obviously, we'll see what happens. There will be interesting discovery in that case. Do you think something will come of this lawsuit, though? I would be shocked. A former video adult video store employee who was the source of another story alleging Robinson was a regular customer at a porn shop is also being sued in this lawsuit. I tried reaching out to him, but I have not heard back. Tonight, CNN is declining to comment. So $50 million, that's an astronomical amount of money for defaming the mighty righteous Mark Robinson. The update is only going to take 30 seconds because it's no longer $50 million. It's now eh, far, far less. Watch this. New tonight, Republican candidate for Governor Mark Robinson is now asking for just $25,000 in his defamation lawsuit against CNN, according to court records. Earlier this month, North Carolina's lieutenant governor was asking for $50 million in a suit against CNN and a Greensboro man over a CNN report that linked him to a porn shop and lewd comments on a porn website. The case is expected to go to court November 18th, two weeks after the election. One defendant has asked for the case to be dismissed. So from $50 million to $25,000 and... It's not scheduled to go to court until what was that date? November 18th. So my continued prediction, if you're keeping track at home, if you've got a big whiteboard of all of Jesse Dollamore's predictions, if you do seek help, because you're probably inside of the movie Beautiful Mind and nobody wants that. But if you're keeping track at home, colloquially speaking, um, this is gonna go away. This is another prediction that once the campaign is over and he realizes that all of the debts that the campaign has incurred and all of that money he has in his campaign war chest is going to be sucked up by, by legal fees, he's going to drop this thing. Because one, like I stated uh, it, not outside of that clip, that 30-second clip, once they go to the discovery phase and CNN is going to be able to delve into the text messages and emails and accounts and chats in porn or whatever, he's not going to want that to be public. He's not going to want that to be uh, at CNN's disposal and fingertips. This thing is absolutely going away. It is only served to keep him in the headlines. This, though, is embarrassing. Going from $50 million dollars to $25,000? There is no low too low. There is no shame too shameful. They are free of dignity. They are just cosplayers of politicians, cosplayers of, of someone with a little bit of shame. That's all it is. Anyway, what's your take on this? I'd love to know. You can comment below. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If you are uh, interested in supporting me making correct predictions as a news uh, analyzer, as a political commentator, click the join button below, become a channel member for as little as $2 a month. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash idatapodcast. Follow me on the social media. I'm at Dollamore everywhere. And I will see you next time with another correct prediction. Be genuine. Take care of one another.